for being with us tonight. After a contentious summer for many parents and school districts, tens of thousands of children are headed back to the classroom tomorrow. Here already. And UC 26's Valerie Juarez visited Green Bay schools today and got a look at what families can expect. As children get ready to return back to the classroom, school officials say they're excited to welcome students back and continue to educate America's future generation. We're really excited for the first day of school. You might have remembered when we first introduced you to these Green Bay sisters last spring. We had caught up with them on the first day of in-person learning back in March. About six months later, these girls are headed back to school, this time just a little taller. My name is Quinn and I'm going to be going into second grade. Hi, my name is Ari and I'm going into sixth grade. As these sisters and other children prepare for the new school year, it's important to remember Students will still be required to mask up inside school buildings. Parent visitors will also not be allowed as schools continue to maintain safety inside their buildings. However, if we have visitors that are integral to our learning, um, we will be allowing those um, following appropriate safety protocols. So filling out the screeners, um, wearing their mask, um, staying the distance. Chapel Elementary School's principal says she's excited for children to not only be back in school, but to be back in person. It's the connections, it's those relationships that we um, build with kids. And we build a community and we build the social skills that we want kids to go out into our community with. In the meantime, as the countdown to the first date continues, children like Ari and Quinn say they can't wait. What are you most excited about? Meeting new friends and having fun with my friends. I'm looking forward to having like a locker. Um, and like seeing all the new teachers. And again, educators want to reassure parents they'll be doing everything they can to continue to keep your child safe. And if parents do have any additional questions, they're encouraged to call their child's school to address their concerns. In Green Bay, Valerie Juarez, NBC 26. Valerie, thank you. As we first told you, when students return to the classroom tomorrow, many will be required to wear masks. At least partial mandates will be in place for students in Green Bay, Appleton, Oshkosh, Nina, De Pere, and more. Several districts tightened these policies in recent weeks as COVID-19 cases continue to climb. And as the fight against